All right, folks, whenever you got a garden, there's one problem that seems to be the number one issue with gardens that causes productivity to, to really fall off, and that is weeds. If you look right here, we've got a whole garden full of nothing but weeds. We haven't even planted anything in it yet. So there's several different ways that you can attack it. First of all, you could do it like this. Or you could do it like this. You could do it like this. Looking dust. That's calcium. I could eat that all day long. I hate to see my dad till it up. the tractor is the quickest method and it probably does the best job of chopping the weeds all to pieces but once you get your rows planted you're going to be planted too close together to use that so you're going to have to use a smaller garden tiller and a, probably a hoe around each plant to really keep them nice and clean ground plastics and mulch plastics are really good to use also to keep weeds in control but Whichever way you go at it, you're gonna be involved in some work. It's not gonna be easy. See here, at, look here at the, the peas we've got growing here. They're already up about three foot tall and, and they're blooming, blooming nicely. We should have some peas here before too long. Those peas were planted in February which is a good month to plant them here in Tennessee. So we are fixing to tear in here and plant some stuff. And uh, we like to plant on these uh, cattle panels. We like to plant green beans and peas and things that climb and we can just stand up and pick them, makes it real nice and easy. 
So, and with the chicken problem and everything, we went ahead and uh, put some plastic chicken wire up to keep them out of the beets and the lettuce and different things that my wife and daughter planted in inside there. So, starting to look a little better. Today is uh, the first part of May, so it's high time to get some stuff in the ground. Well, there's the finished product, folks. Hot sun burning them roots a little bit, drying that out. plant a few seeds here my wife is wanting some different kinds of beans and some okra so I'm gonna lay off a row here one thing about tilling it like this with this tractor it makes it so soft you can just take a hoe like this and easily just lay off a row throw your seeds in cover them up and uh, hopefully the chickens won't dig them up so I'm gonna lay this off real quick turned out to be fairly straight. Uh, I'm gonna throw my bean seeds in. Uh, first of all, she wants me to try some lima beans. We'll see how they turn out. This ground's pretty fertile, so I plant fairly thick especially bean type, bean type things that are bushy beans that gives them a, they can hold on to each other, stand up nice and when you're picking them, you got plenty of beans to pick when you bend over. I hate bending over. Next, she's wanting me to plant some of these here wax beans. So I'm gonna plant them right quick. We're just going to cover it right on up. Ground is so soft and easy to work. Makes it very easy. I'm covering them about three quarters of an inch to an inch. And it's supposed to rain for the next two days, so that's going to go down. All right, Mr. Matt is here planting some Kentucky Wonder Pole beans. They're gonna climb right up onto this trellis and make an archway. And later on in the year, we'll show you how beautiful that is. You can see the old vines that haven't fallen off yet. It's uh, one of the most foolproof ways I know of growing beans. You go right in, pick them in the shade, the weeds inside the that area stay really down low you know they are limited and uh, so this guy's laying these seeds in this small ditch and uh, we'll cover them up here in a little bit what are you doing there you rascal she's been digging and digging and digging and digging i don't think she's really going for a corn seed that's right there but she might accidentally find one she just acts like she's in a real hurry. I think she's got a chick around here somewhere. I'm not sure. She's acting like she's wanting to take her a dust bath or something. Yep. I 
That's what it is. Loving her some dirt, I tell you. You better do it now because it's fixing to start raining and rain for two days and there won't be a bit of dust on this place for a long time after that. We got a Mr. Caleb here and Joe planting some rattlesnake beans, pole beans for this same trellis. Show you right in here a sneak peek of some cabbages. We put them under this row cover to try to protect them for a while. Some of it, it's not really lasting but you can see down through there some different cabbage plants under here they look like they're doing quite well this uh this row cover kind of keeps the old moths off of them because the moths lay the eggs and then the worms eat holes all through the cabbages that's our problem every every year You like little toads, Caleb? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and cover his seeds for him. Yeah, now he's gonna keep on planting down through on that plastic. Uh, we had this whole garden in plastic last year. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Mr. Joel's rolling this row out here. This is both edges get buried in the same ditch to give you seamless appearance. That way there's not a row of dirt right down the middle of your plastic and then this bowl the new row right out to cover over this dirt here. So our entire garden is gonna be covered with a thick black plastic. David is right now pulling the second layer into the ditch with the layer that we've already got laid. So we buried through it. What fine fellows, I tell you what. I tell you what. Good old boys. This plastic, each sheet is 20 feet wide, 100 feet long. We're doing three sheets, so we're going to have 60 by 100 here. What happens is the water washes off our house and eats a big old ditch right down through here every year. Washing water down in there. Washing our dirt, our topsoil. So we're doing this to stop that and also we'll contain the weeds. We won't have to deal with weeds anymore, hopefully just a few. So anyway, we're gonna bury this and then pull it, pull it out. All right, we got this buried. We're gonna get a hold to this plastic and we're gonna pull it out. Watch the beauty. It's like unfurling a flag. Thankfully, the wind is not up today because this would be very difficult. And there you have it. All the way up through here. Uh, come here, Caleb. Stand on this corner, buddy. I got my little man. He is a helper, I tell you what. 
Don't know what I'd do without my helpers. There's your spot right there on the corner, buddy. All right. He's my man. He's my man. And I'm pulling it out through here. Gonna have a little dirt strip out here that's not covered. But looks to me like we're getting it, getting it licked. So, y'all get, you guys have a great gardening year and we're gonna try to do the same. Between the wind and the, everything that happened over winter, it ripped a bunch of it up, but we're gonna try to save as much of it as we can just to keep the weeds down as much as possible. Well, folks, we sure appreciate you watching this video, following along with us. I about worked up a little bit of a sweat myself here today. That old humidity's building up, getting ready to rain here for a couple of days. But uh, we, it looks like we got a little bit of gardening done today. Not too much. We don't want to do it all at once and wear ourselves out, but it don't hurt to get out there and break a little sweat. So we enjoyed having you along. Looks like I got a rooster trapped in the in the old uh, <laughs> trampoline here. I'm gonna have to let him out. You want out, buddy? Come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Did you fly over in there and get caught? I can't believe it. The kids ain't gonna be too impressed. You pooped on their trampoline. Let me unzip it here. <laughs> go around. See if he'll go out through the hole. I made you a hole over there, bud. Now get on out of here. Get on out of here. Can't you see there's a hole over there? There. Whoop, you missed it. There you go. He said, I'm finally free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Left a little gift for the kids there maybe i can flick that off there we go there's probably a few more gifts laying around in there That's another reason why i don't jump on a train so anyway you got that taken care of thanks for sticking with us this is a life in the day of a homesteader i guess uh if you like this content just go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way you can see some more of it and and hit the notification bell and you can see it all if you want to we do a little bit of everything and uh We'll see you on the next video. Y'all have a great day.